Hi guys and welcome to welcome back to the channel. My name is Dorothy Watching. This is staying offbeat in Europe. Staying offbeat everywhere, but we're in Europe, so currently it's a European thing. Anyway, so today's video, I'm gonna be talking about my hair care journey or my hair journey, basically, as an African, a black girl in Europe. How do I take care of my hair? How do I braid my hair? How what do I do to get hair care products here in Europe and currently I'm in Italy and so we're going to be talking about that in today's video if this is your first time here please thank you so much but subscribe to the channel before you leave and if you've been like an old old comer you've been coming you've been coming you've been going you've been coming thank you so much I love you anyway so let's go straight into the conversation so I made some notes here well you won't see it because of light but i made some note here and it's going to guide the whole conversation i just hope it doesn't get too long so of course i start from before i came what was the situation so when i was coming to europe last two years i you see there's this like dilemma what type of hairstyle should i do and how is it going to last because there's this notion that you're not going to get like a lot of hair products you're not going to get what you need for your hair and it's overall very difficult to get a place to braid your hair here in Europe so I was torn between doing normal braids and then maybe four locks or something something that would last but then I ended up doing short afro twists for my like my first my first hair style coming into Europe yeah, stop using filter. Filter helps some of us. We'll have blemishes every time. And so, yes, I did the Afro twists. They were very short and thin. The thin and short ones. I'll put a picture here. But anyway, so when I came, most of my classmates, of course, are from other parts of the world. And so they actually thought my hair was like my natural hair. <laughs> they thought it was like locks. I had locked my hair my hair was long and like so luscious like hey, i wish i wish anyway so yes that was the situation i came with like that kind of hair but then i got tired of it as stuff happens like they get tired so i decided to start to wear wigs so i started to wear i have this short wig that i, I have i've been wearing actually for my mother i brought it here but yes, I started to wear that short wig. It was, it was okay. It was okay. Even that my classmate thought it was my hair. But so I started wearing that. And then I noticed that every time, like after the first braiding, the braids I came with, when I released, like I removed, unraveled the hair, my hair, I had lost like a lot of my hair. And it was because I was not really taking care of my hair. I, I just like okay I've braided so it's fine I was not doing anything oil in it all of this brunishing butter in it and oh I wasn't doing all of that so I had lost a lot and then my edges was was in pains my edges were were not there they were not there but now they are there kinda more or less but now they are there anyway so I noticed that I was losing a lot of hair but what can I do? I can't do anything about it because I'm, I'm not really that like knowledgeable about how to care for Afro hair. And before I came, my hair was semi-permed and not permed. It was in between. I was in the transition period. You know, that transition period. And so when I came and I had removed the hair, I... You see the afro twist it is you, you can use it again so then i started to braid my own hair and that i've been doing for a long time but we've not reached that part of the story so i started to braid my own hair i did longer twists i, I got there was an african shop in portugal the city i was in evora there was an african shop there so i could get like the afro twist kind of thing and i added i added and i braided my hair for I think it took it was like a month then I changed it. I had to leave Evora to Greece. So I changed the style again. Something similar to what I had come with the short 
twist but this time I added like instead of black afro twist I used red so red and black mixture I'll be inserting videos and pictures so that you can understand like the transition of the hairstyles that I've done here so yes when I went to Greece to I braided I found another African shop I could get the expression here the ultra extensions so then I started to do like box braids and all of those things and then there was one time I was tired of doing it because my parts are not even you know you're doing it yourself trying to braid raising your hands and all of that but my parts were not like as perfect as I wanted it to be so I almost fell into trouble I I, I asked the African shop owner if she knew anyone who could braid so oh, they know somebody in some corner corner somewhere so i called the person and it was not good she was like she has to see my head before she can give a price but it's usually from 50 euros depending on like how much hair i have on my head she would charge accordingly so i just caved and i just instead of using that 50 euros to pay for good quality hair i, I caved and i braided my own hair i'm not perfect <laughs> so yes i did that and so the story about me braiding my own hair so it started right after no, so first i did some four locks on campus university of ghana campus and my goodness it took like three weeks for my head to heal i was having like cracks and like ugh, some parts of my head was swollen some parts was cracked it was terrible because they really near their hands they were killing me they near, near their hands <laughs> and oh it was so bad so i decided not to go to a salon to braid my hair again and then of course in ghana it's, it's not easy like that so i went again and braided my hair i did the half cornrow then the rest is sort of rasta i did that and then i got some um reaction to the braids because i used to lie sorry my camera roll was full so they cut me but yes yeah, so where was i i got a reaction on like this part of my back i still have the the scars so that i decided i'm not going to a salon to braid my hair again the only thing i'll do there is going to wash the hair because they yeah, are very good with that so then i started to so that happened and then COVID. i had gone to do this long jumbo afro twist kind of hairstyle and COVID, we were all in our rooms locked up i was on campus because i was working with the radio station so <clears throat> i was yeah i was working on a radio station so i didn't go home home but i was also like in quarantine sort of so then that's when i actually started to experiment with, like braiding my own hair one time i released one and then i wrapped it and it was looking like full locks so then i started watching lots of youtube videos youtube academy i started to watch a lot of videos how to braid your hair how to do this how to do the locks how to do everything so then that is how it started and after 2020 i started to braid my own hair I even started to make DIY wigs that I used to wear around. I made wigs. Some of them were totally bad, but some of them were okay if you like add a scarf or something. And yeah, so since 2020, I've been braiding my own hair, all of the styles, and even now. So it was easy for me to adapt to doing my own hair when I came here. It was very easy for me to do that. So yes, from Greece, Malta, I did four locks and then I did the video that I posted on the braids I did with the curly tips. Yeah, so that was when I was in Malta. So I did the four locks, I did that one. And then when I came here, I braided black, all black box braids. And by December of last year, I decided that I didn't want to braid my hair again because Every single time I braid and every single time I release, you know the gunk that forms at the end, like 
at the roots of your hair when you braid and when you are trying to remove it you end up like ripping apart your hair and the hair is already quite delicate because it's afro it's very curly and it's very entangled and so if you keep putting it in like a position where you have to keep ripping apart that you will be losing a lot of hair and if you want to like keep the length you have to make sure you are gentle with your hair are you still here you're still here thank you Anne. i appreciate you i appreciate you anyway so here in italy too i i caved there were a lot of african um saloons around some part of the city so i caved and i went to ask him like please i want to braid my hair how much it's a hundred euros and that's they would provide the wig so if they need six wigs they are going to provide it right you pay for each wig which was like 10 euros or six euros per per bag you pay for each of them and pay 100 euros for the braiding I was like, this this is it. 50 euros I didn't pay. It's 100 euros I will pay. So I'll start braiding my thing. So I bought wigs. That's when I did the black or black box, box braids when I was here. So yes, that has been my hair journey. Here I braid my own hair. I all I wanted to say was to flex that I braid my own hair. And so since December 2022, I I removed the box braids that i did in december in january no in february after my exams i removed it after my exams and so since then i have not braided anything on my hair because i want to retain the length i've been pulling and tugging on it so i, I bought two wigs two straight wigs one like curly wig because i want to protect my hair and it's summer it's hot it's so hot and the heat will make your hair dry and then easy it will be prone to breaking so for me I wear wigs as like a protection I'm creating a barrier between like the Sun rays and my hair I so I wear scarves I wear wigs. let me check my information this thing because I had some points I wanted to talk to you about regarding the hair stuff yeah 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 yeah. so i already spoke about the creating of barriers so you can wear hats or something for me i wear scarves of course i cover everything and then i also put on wigs i wear wigs because i want to protect my hair i saw something was quite interesting it said you can wear sunscreens for your hair sunscreens like so it's not something common in back home in ghana where we like we put sunscreens on our body we walk in the sun because we are this thing and when i was back in ghana i used to like wonder why people needed sunscreens but since i when i came here so that see the sun is different from the sun we have in ghana the sun in ghana now is like it's getting hotter in ghana but the sun here is very 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 invasive it's like it's piercing you the heat here is intense intense heat also i should be wearing protective hairstyles but because of the type of hair that i have every time i do a protective hairstyle and i have to take it down i lose a lot of hair and right now i'm aiming at keeping my hair's length retaining length so for me protective styles no the only thing i do is my bomb bass and um, cornrows actually i can't braid cornrows for the life of me give me box braids i can do it give me short full locks give me long full locks give me extension something that i can extend put on here and extend i will do it fine fine but give me cornrow and you have given me difficult task i can't do it i can't do it so i just do something so that the hair lies flat and then i can wear my wigs so yes guys that is all i have for you today i hope i was able to share my hair story with you and some of the challenges that i've been faced here i've been faced with while being here <laughs> yep english is not english anymore and yeah, some of the problems that i faced while being here i'm trying to keep my hair healthy and so 
that's basically what i wanted to share with you today so thank you so much for staying up to this point if you have please watch another video when you watch more videos you help my channel become visible for others to get and enjoy and yes that is a very big way of supporting the channel so please like please share the video please leave a comment so that i see that you watched it or you are here and i'll see you in my next video remember to stay awesome stay different and stay upbeat